Hi, I'm John Whitledge. I'm a polymer scientist and mechanical engineer. I have 31 years of industrial experience working with composites. And when I'm not doing that, I like to work on uh, car stereos, design, build, and tune car stereos. And in the process of doing that, oftentimes we're working with fiberglass materials, most commonly polyester resins. Well, you all know about polyester. Polyester stinks. It, it contains styrene. That's the smell that you get, and it's difficult for that smell to uh, go away. It, it's also dangerous. Uh, exposure to styrene at, at more than 100 parts per million over an eight-hour period can be hazardous to your health. There's got to be a better way. Today, I would like to share with you a product by a company named Smoothon, and you can visit their website at smooth hyphenon.com. Smoothon makes this special product that I think will revolutionize your fabrication efforts. It's called Free Form Air. It comes in a part A and a part B, and what it is is it's an es a sculpting epoxy dough. And this dough has a relatively stiff consistency such that you can make it into any shape you want. And recently, I employed this material as the basis for some dash enclosures that I made for a Lexus. The epoxy dough is easy to handle. You simply pull it out of the bucket, part B and part A, roll up two balls that are exactly the same size, and knead them together until they're uniformly mixed. It takes about five minutes. Then, application. You make an appropriate mold and spray it with a release agent, and then subsequently apply the epoxy uh, onto your form, and it can be anywhere from about 3 eighths of an inch thick up to an inch thick. The working time of the epoxy dough is more than an hour, so it gives you plenty of time to make your shape exactly the way you need it to be. The epoxy dough can be smoothed with by dabbing your finger in a little bit of water and smoothing it out once your epoxy dough is in its final form, it can cure overnight at about room temperature. Freeform Air has excellent adhesion to a multitude of substrates, including itself. For those of us who make enclosures, common substrates include plywood, MDF, steel, and aluminum. Freeform Air, as a core material, is highly effective at spacing out inner and outer skins of your epoxy composite. Many of you may know that the stiffness of a beam is proportional to the cube of its height. In other words, if you double a beam thickness, rigidity of the beam is increased by a factor of eight. Therefore, you can make your composites thicker with less work and achieve greater stiffness along with internal damping. Freeform Air has a density of 0.45 grams per cc, which is about 0.016 pounds per cubic inch. So it's very lightweight and the perfect way to add thickness to your enclosures, increasing their performance without adding much weight. As we all know, enclosures in automobiles can be exposed to very high temperatures in the trunk or on the dash, for instance, temperatures can reach as much as 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm pleased to share with you that the Freeform Air Epoxy Putty easily resists those temperatures. And in fact, during some of my experimentation, I've exposed Freeform Air to temperatures in excess of that, and it withstood it just fine. It didn't soften or change shape or anything so it was dimensionally stable. In addition, when I was making a thick enclosure, the exotherm, that is the internal heat that it generated while curing, it went up to about 205 degrees Fahrenheit. It was pretty thick, it was about an inch thick. And that's a good thing because the glass transition temperature of the epoxy resin is now about 30 degrees above that. So, that enclosure, because by virtue of its exotherm, will now withstand 
temperatures well over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So that makes the freeform air epoxy putty the perfect core material for a highly temperature resistant enclosure for your automobile. In conclusion, freeform air will revolutionize the way you make enclosures. They'll be lighter, stiffer, more highly damped, and they won't have the terrible styrene stink, which is both unpleasant and dangerous for your health. For the remainder of this presentation, I'll share with you movies of freeform air being drilled, tapped, the installation of tea nuts, and then finally some photos of an enclosure that I recently fabricated for Alexis. Thank you.